Hey guys, in our last example, now we're given a calculator active problem. And what I did first was plugged in my function into my graphing calculator so I could see where is my velocity positive and where is it negative. I see by plugging in this function um, that there's a couple places where it crosses. So I'm going to click menu 5, trace, graph trace, and I see there's, um, starting over here to the left, <laughs> look at there, I'm trying to find this zero, so I see this zero here, the first one is at 1.3, five, four, seven, five. And then I'll trace this way to find my other zero. And so these calculator active problems like this, usually you will have to be able to do this um, on your own and be able to trace and find your zeros or calculate them another way using your Inspire. So just let me know if you need help with this. And so this next value where it crosses is 4.65058. So now that I see this is what's happening with my velocity function, first displacement is easy. It's the integral from 0 to 5 of my uh, velocity function dt. And to save some time, I'm not going to do it either. Now distance we need to break it up into positive and negative. So first it's the integral from zero to 1.3545 of cosine e to the t over three dt minus the integral from 1.3548 to 4.6506 of cosine e to the t over three and then plus, oops, I almost forgot my dt. Keep in mind, if you drop off your dt or your dx, um, um, AP graders will stop grading. So then last but not least, my final integral from 4.6506 to five of cosine e to the t over three dt. And these would have to be calculated using your graphing calculator. So go ahead and just check yourself here and make sure you know how to do this and let me know in class if you need help.